Yeah, what's up? Welcome. Hey, gamers. Um, you want to keep an eye on which side they sit on on the chairs? Yes. Okay. What is up, everyone? Uh, we are here. Oh, you already. I went to go do that. Yeah, get shit on. <laughs> How good you do that, baby? What's up, Tech? What's up, Anti Derivative? Uh, we are here with attempt number two. So far, successful attempt number two. Yeah, I bumped it down to thir 3,000. So um, I was like, 3,500's a, a little ambitious, and we dropped a few, so I was like, ah, 3,000. <laughs> Fair enough. 3,000 is what I normally stream at, I think. I do 4,000 for, uh, oh, what's it called? Um, RCS at home. Ah, okay. But, like, honestly, with Rivals, you're not going to notice a difference on anything except for the cameras. At, like, That's fair, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, 2,000 will do enough for the it, game. It's all pixel, right? So, yeah. like, um, Kevin is on a Have you ever seen us. a high-definition pixel? Have I? No. <laughs> okay, then I guess not. So yeah, we are um, getting going here. Uh, we have our lovely lads. Indeed. Yeah, you gotta swap them. Oh, um, yeah. It looks oh. like it looks like. Actually, the... hold on. Wait, hold on, guys. Um, switch your characters. Like switch player yeah. slots, yeah. Cause yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right, you guys are good. Cool. That makes it a lot easier. Here we go. Uh -huh. Hi, Chompers. Hello, Chompos. All right. Getting right into it. Yeah, We've welcome got, uh, uh, to Arizona's first monthly yep. of uh, season 16. Holy shit. 16 seasons. 16 fucking seasons. Oh, my We're God. We're out here. We really are. Oh, uh, jabs like a ledge cancel. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to compliment Kevin's sick ass waveline, and then you said that to me. <laughs> well, he ledge canceled the hit stun on jab two of Orkane, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That poor guy. Yes. So, it, um, oh, why is it set to SAK? This is not SAK. Let no, me go ahead and set up the stream properly here. In the meantime, we have a. Uh, Kevin actually has a bit of a lead. Um, he's been uh, he's been really pushing the advantage state so far. Ooh, gets caught by the jump. Di in a little bit too far. He dives to the up air off the top. Good call out on the down strong by Ash. And just like that, we're back to dead even. Hell yeah, we are, brother. Kevin, uh, Kevin, looking really good. Um, super aggressive right now. Okay. Whipping the F strong. What's up? All right, so for all you following around at home, uh, if you type in the bracket link, you will see that we are following along loser side right now with Refrain and Ash going into Not PhD, who is the number one in uh, New Mexico, is Zetterburn. He used to come to our old Ascensions back in the day, and uh, he is back and still in good form. So yeah, uh, for sure. we're excited to see that. And then after that, we're going to be moving up to Winterside. So the entire top eight bracket getting streamed here at this big old Whoa. Ascension. And speaking of big old Ascension, you see that big old stock? I saw a big old Ascension to the top last zone. Yunk! <laughs> oh, man, it's nice to have an actual stream because... Uh, a little, uh, I've been holding touch and go for a bit, so for real. I've been holding in all this stupid commentary to myself the whole time. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you still are. It's true. <laughs> I haven't unleashed it yet. You gotta give me a few sets. It'll get there. So we are um, building some extra credit here in this game one on Merchant Pure. Uh, that was nice a great little, little recovery, yeah. Yeah, that was that was an excellent uh, like nair bounce. He didn't even have to double jump. He just got a lot of hype from it and then just fared away. He did, and he uh, he faked Kevin out. He baited him into a parry, I think, thinking he was gonna side special. Yep. And just ended up getting up vertically. 
Baiton more of these parries out and catches him with the up air. Yeah, that's gonna do that first game. It's gonna be Ash's favor. And wow, look at look at these handsome fellows. Crazy. Ash looking into the camera for a second. <laughs> like he could tell we're talking about him. You yes. can also see Mr. Slasher in the background. Yeah, he's uh, playing his Nintendo Switch. I think he's playing the rivals on the Nintendo Switch to stay warm. <laughs> <laughs> I told him that's what he should do. He's well, see, he plays Crag, so like if he plays it on this on the Switch, he might get that Crag experience of online. So that's true. But then like he can connect to the ASU Wi-Fi and play online Crag matches on the Switch. And that's a good idea. <laughs> I think I think if he does that though, he might get too used to the power, and then he comes back to offline and he's like, like, wait oh, a shit. minute, yeah, yeah. When did they shadow nerf my character? <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he'll feel good for a minute. It's true. Oh, uh, good little uh, hold back there by Kevin. Like, that was like full drift to the right on the up special. Yeah, and that avoided a pretty nasty situation there. Ooh. Good on him for the, the jab check, not committing to anything too, uh, too big. Oh, gets a tipper up till. Good DI from, uh, from Ash, but... Uh, that's one thing Kevin does a lot. When he parry baits you, he, he runs fast and just down smashes. It's really I funny. like it. You yeah. know what? I, I'm a big fan of that. Yeah, that's great. Of course you are, you fucking heathen. I was waiting for that. <laughs> down strong, gonna do it. Seven frames of glory. Yeah, Ash is um, a fan of down strong as well. Good catch on the F strong. Yeah, um, speaking of Kevin in top eight, you'll notice that not PhD is one of the players in top eight. Uh, not PhD beat. Isaac to uh, get into top eight here. Yeah. New Mexico, number one. Uh, Kevin was the one to send him to the losers. It's true. It's true. It's true. It was a uh, 2-0, and the first game was literally last hit. I I, I think the second game was also last stock, but uh, it was it was a close ass match. Something um something else that happened outside of the top eight worth noting. Um, Gil, the other player from New Mexico that's here. Oh yes. Yeah, uh, actually beat a bossy. Yeah, beat him 2-1. Uh, yeah. Um, beat him 2-1, but did not manage to make top eight because Brave beat him 3-1, uh, I think. Yes. And if uh, he had one, then he would have played his brother in the first round of top eight. <laughs> That'd be really funny. And it would have been his fault for getting the upset. Like it was, exactly. I mean, I seeded it for you not to get the upset, right? Yeah, dude. Um, but yeah, Panch, Abasi is no longer here because he got food during loser's bracket, so uh, he got DQ'd. <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Oh, oh. This is brutal. Couldn't quite get a, get the kill out of that, but a whole lot of percent coming out from Ash. Oh, okay. That was a interesting little read there. Kevin throwing out maybe a little bit too much um, uh, F strong, trying yeah. to call out stuff. I think he's got to dial it back a little bit and uh, look for more of these these guaranteed setups. Yeah, because th that F strong was off of a fair. Yes. Which and is, uh, uh, it's definitely better than uh, than just throwing it out like in this game. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, good DI in. Um, that's like a like no DI then like drift in. Honestly, is what that was. It was, and it was. Um, it, it Ash is always looking to catch like the hard DI out, right? Because he knows right. you're scared of the up strong. So sometimes just DIing super far in is always it, not always. It is the play. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo! Oh, and he got the Dacus tipper out of it. He almost got the he almost got the game off of that what a combo. Champion. He's playing really hot. Yeah, um, Ash going for the dash in parry, and Kevin not fighting, and this is all of a sudden a very even game. Ooh, it is. If Kevin can, ooh, that F-Strong might yeah. cost him. Once again, the F-Strong's uh, in neutral, like, oh. you know, causing more problems than they're solving. Oh. Yep, and so right there, he was on the edge, so he could have down special those bubbles. Yeah, I, um, I was waiting for it. I think um, he maybe just waited a little too long yeah. to do it. Uh, Vixie, to answer your question in chat, Gil is the uh, second best player in New Mexico. Yes. Uh, not PhD's brother. It's true. It's true. It's true. And I think they're coming to Heat Wave now. They are coming to Heat Wave. And they're also bringing like five fucking setups to he Heat Wave. He did tell me that too. Um, what a legend. What a, yeah, he was like, yeah, I bought these all for my local team and then COVID happened. Yep. I was like, what a, what a man buying so many setups so you can run locals. I mean, damn, yeah. dude. And actually, uh, Vixie, you might recognize their name by Gil X Turtle. It's yeah. what they used to go by in the old Ascensions when they came out here. Yeah, they were, um, they were at the last Ascension um, uh, back to back to basics, the first one of 2020, right yes. before a pandemic. And not PhD is his brother, the number one in New Mexico. Yes. Zetter burn. Uh, Gil is a Craig and not PhD is a Zetter. Indeed. 
good old classic rival pick. Yeah. Uh, the Kevin set with them was very good. I wish we had stream working for that. Same, but you know. But take what we can get. Yeah. Honestly, like we didn't miss too many crazy sets uh, leading up to top eight. Like there were, they were, there were some good ones. Like the Kevin and uh, like the refrain pokey set was actually kind of a barn burner. Uh, but other than that, it was nothing like insane. Yeah. I think we're about to see a little bit more of that insane stuff. Oh my now, god! Though. Oh my god! Speaking of insane, that was another. Um, he's really consistent with those back air and air strings. He yeah. like actually both times it's happened, he got like sixty percent. Yeah, and um, like you don't want to di out because if you get di out into the second hit of back air, you just die, right? <laughs> exactly. That's why it's, it's so, so scary. scary. Yeah. But okay. if if you're gonna do it though, like when you get hit by a back air one, you see the second one's done, you gotta di out the nair, and it's way yeah. easier said than done. It is like you, especially Orkin can throw it out just all so quickly. Sometimes you don't realize what you've done until you actually die. Oh God, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. reads the roll in on the tech chase. If he um if he got the tipper into a kill, it would have been super safe. Yeah, I think with the amount of charge he had, that might have galaxy uh, if it tipped. Oh, you know what? You might be right. That was really close too. Um, he had really good DI, but I feel like it was just like the drift was just slightly off there. It's true, and and in the first place, it was a really good um, it was really good patience from Ash waiting for him to come out of the side beam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ash kind of putting on the uh, the aggression a little bit here. Yeah, he's building a lot of percent in this third final stock potentially of Kevin's uh, tournament life. It's true. Okay. Great parry on the bubbles. But yeah, doesn't find the tipper unfortunately. Uh, so right there, if he would have allowed Ash to land, he would have been in tipper or a parry stun afterwards because he wasn't making it to the wall, and then he could have just done a side special to kill. In, yeah, I uh, agree. But uh, Ash taking that 3-0. Four sets. Yeah, you've got a little while. Unfortunate. Yeah, so um, Ash, for um, those who may not know right now, has actually, ha he's using a different controller than his because his X button was like sticking and double jumping like yeah. instantly. So he's got a uh, friend here who's actually a vendor named Plants um, that is allowing him to use another controller, but he's like, yeah, this one is, uh, not great either. It's passable at best, is yeah. what he said. Ooh, looks like we're getting the good old Rivals restart. What does that mean? It means I know Rivals recess, work. but like, what does Rivals restart? It means your game doesn't work. Um, it says Dan for NACI LLC. It's not my game. Dan, your game doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> that was the equivalent of like unplugging my controller in a yeah. friendly. You know, I was like, you know, that, this is a new one. Actually, I could do that. <laughs> Now I now I'll remember the tech. I'll it, do it to I'll do it to Zach or something. It's so someday. good because like these are like actually like you have to have your mouth close to them. You really door. do. You really do. Ugh. Oh man, what what do we got here? Um, we got we've got not PhD and Brave. Yeah, and Brave is already on the correct side, so that's cool. Indeed, indeed. So like we said, not PhD is a. Uh, 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 from New Mexico, came here with his brother Gil, and uh, they are pretty solid players. You love to see, uh, you love to see, especially from a state people don't really know has the rival scene. Yes. Because um, they're, uh, I was talking to Gil a bit, and they're they're still trying to get it started now. He's just he's so busy. He said that it's hard to get anything started. I remember pre quarantine they were doing monthlies or bi weeklies, one or the other. Yeah, they were doing bi weeklies, and he said with Smash crossover they were sometimes getting like 16 people, which is awesome. It really is. Woo. Uh, Brave kind of cooking here though. Um, yeah, he is. First stock going real quick. And so another thing to note is the best two players in New Mexico are Zetterburn and a Krag. So he's got a lot of Krag experience. So I'm, I'm curious to see how this is going to go. I agree. Um, oh, the double? Brave, uh, I was going to say at the start of this set that Brave is maybe going to be a little weird for him because he's kind of a really defensive Krag. But honestly, he's been really aggressive so far. Yes, he has. It's, um, it's definitely way different from even the last time I saw Brave. Marine, the people are not being silenced. Dinos <laughs> is not people. <laughs> wow. Wow. Listen, oh, I'm man. not the one that came into this tournament playing Absa and Ori. Hey, I may have done that. <laughs> <laughs> but I won doubles with Claren. 
Yeah, because you had Rano. Well, so I started with Absa, and then I tried Crag, and then we decided to do Claren. <laughs> you won because Stroder decided he wanted to try. No, we won because I switched to Claren, and then Stroder also decided he wanted to try. <laughs> well, me and Zach only won because I didn't switch to Rano. Only one. I mean, only lost. Well, you won morally because you didn't switch did. to Rano. You're right, we did win morally. Ooh, okay. Uh, that last stock going, going away uh, kind of quick. Yeah, that was an unfortunate SD by Brave. Um, yeah. And given given PhD, the first game. Yes. It is based on lies and deceit is what it's based on. Marine, right before the, the quarantine, I played an entire season of random. But before that, I played an entire season of Absa. My Absa didn't lose a single set. You had to throw in the random season, huh, you piece of shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You, if you get ranked number one in a strong region with random, you gotta fucking brag about it. <laughs> uh, listen, you're like, you're okay, I guess. Oh, I got top something with Ori. We'll find out soon. <laughs> it probably won. If you got one with Ori, does it really count? No. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll be the first time an Ori has been ranked one. If it does happen. If it does. For us, yeah. I guess you'll have to wait for the reveal to find out who will. Ooh, Ooh, catches Ooh. that, and then uh, that didn't look like bad DI, but still dies off the side. Yeah, it was just, it's really hard to DI when you're that far into the blast zone. Yeah. You know? That was like the, like, mostly good DI. Yeah. Like, he was mostly dead. Like, <laughs> if he had 10 less percent, he would have mostly lived that. Yeah, so like, the, the doctor from uh, Princess Bride could have definitely revived him. <laughs> and then he could have gone and stormed the castle, which is basically a castle. <laughs> have fun storming the fortress! <laughs> <laughs> to <play. laughs> There's something wrong with us. <laughs> God, I, I love that movie. I should watch it again. It's a fantastic I've seen it so many movie. times. I would say that's one Bonk. of the... I'd say that's one of the perfect movies. Yeah. It's like you can watch it with friends, you can watch it with significant others, you can watch it with people you hate. You can watch no matter what, mom. you're going to have a good time. Exactly. <laughs> Which is why I'm going to watch it with you for the last version. Uh -huh. Woohoo! Uh, did you know the old, the, the old man, the grandpa? That's Columbo. Do you know who Columbo is? I've heard of Columbo. He's a, it was a detective show. Ah. And I, uh, I didn't realize that until I started watching it with my mom. In the Wait, morning. the old man that says to blave? Uh, or, no. or the guy reading the story. Because I was going to say, the guy the that story. says to Blave is Billy Crystal. Yeah, he's, he's the guy reading the story. Okay. Interesting. Uh-oh. I just realized that Brave is down a full stock. Yeah, he Brave is down a whole stock. This is a, a bit of a departure from the last game. See, Damn Danny couldn't come out today, um, so they decided to have a different war crime by bringing in a Zetterburn from out of state. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like... It's like I hate Zetterburn. <laughs> <laughs> so right there, he got parried really early. I would have loved to see um, not PhD just go horizontal into the wall and wall jump out of the parry stun. I agree. That would have been very cool. Um, he could have gotten hit, but then he could have teched. Exactly. You know? Like being being on the wall right there at the ledge. That was a great catch with the uh, the shine wave dash up strong. I mean, end of the day, it didn't matter what happened, but like he is Zetterburn. You're true. That's true. Um, yeah, he starts with 17 stocks. It's really weird, Seven. actually. <laughs> no, 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 a common misconception. He only starts with three, but every time he hits you, he takes 17 stocks. Oh. That's why he does really well against Edelus. <laughs> Danny says the feeling's mutual of you hating Zetterburn. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Zetter, but I love you, Daniel. Ooh. Ooh. Wish you were here, XOXO. What should I use against uh, Night Slash? Should I use Absa or Ori? Or Claren. <laughs> Please, for the love of God, play Claren. <laughs> so I should play Absa then. <laughs> no. You can't like you can't make me choose which public execution he gets live on stream. I'm probably starting with Absa. We'll see. I don't know. It'll, I really um, I really want to make this season a mix of the three characters. I feel ya. I it, it would be interesting to see the Absa because we haven't seen it like with Phoenix players yet, you know what I mean? I've I've been playing with uh, Night Slash quite a bit. You have, that's true. I I meant like in bracket though. Well, yeah, this is rollback is basically a bracket, right? <laughs> if that's true, then damn, I should be number one right now. Nah, my crag's kind of been schmoovin' online. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
That's Ooh, a death. Oh, that was a great little reversal. Yeah, that was uh, back and forth. It, one of them was going to die off the top. Period. Look, look at the chat. Danny said he loves me. Yeah, but he told me he loves me in person yesterday. <laughs> you get a little text message. I get the real deal, buddy. Is, is this the opposite of breaking up over text? It's, it's like falling in love over text? Oh, he's just stringing you along over text. <laughs> <laughs> he's, in, he's in your Twitch chat. I'm in his DMs. We're not the same. Yeah. I mean, not to brag, but like he was literally in my room playing Rivals last night. No, it can't be true. I, I mean, I, I am bragging, but like, yeah. <laughs> hey, Marine, if you're still in the chat, you should consider Heat Wave more. <laughs> Speaking did, of rooms. Did somebody say Heat Wave? Whoa. Whoa. So like, my thought process there is like, rooms, Airbnb. Danny's going to be in our Airbnb. Marine's in the chat. Danny's in the chat. Go to Heat Wave. Go to Heat Wave. <laughs> oh. oh! Oh my god. Beautiful. Uh, all our all our awful memes aside, DHC's definitely uh, turned it around a little bit. Yeah, this is um, a very close final game. Like the first game was kind of close, and then there was a weird SD. The second game was not close. No, it was uh, it was definitely THD pick. Oh, and that Ooh. so if he teched, that was actually going to be a great up strong from Brave, but uh, he didn't tech. Finds a stock anyway. Brave is uh, now on the board one to two. Yeah, gets the uh, gets the parry punish into the F smash. Where do you think we're headed for the final game? Well, not final game, but game four. Uh, here, let me see what they're gonna pick, and then I'll show you. I'll tell you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think we're going to. Oh, I think four. we're going to Fortress, actually. Oh, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> see, I was right. I thought they were on Fortress. It's too small. They already went to Fortress. That would have been a uh, DSR. No. You. Yeah. Although Brave may have led him because it was his counter pick. It's true. It'd be an interesting. I, I don't think I've ever seen that. Like uh, uh, somebody counterpicking to your counterpick. That'd be interesting. I've done that before. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I might Not often, but like, I don't know. Ooh, get them with the quick bear. Or I, I ban something and then I counterpick to it after I lose. Not because like it was an intentional like goof around, but because it's just like you know. I feel like even though I ban this, the player's play style. Is, you could do is it. the you opposite could do of what yeah. I expected, so I'd rather go there instead. That's understandable. Especially in the middle of a set, like, everything you think changes very quickly. Yeah. And uh, I currently think that not PhD is getting a whole lot of percent right now. Yes, he is, and, uh, ooh, nice little wave line back there. Uh, Brave pushing him away, making him uh, making him think about what he's done. He's playing Zetterburn, he's always thinking about what he's done. When do you think, do you think they feel remorse, or do they just like live in this like blissful ignorance? Uh, I think it's both, honestly. Like the Zetterburns that say his recovery is bad, they're living <laughs> in ignorance, right? Yes. And then you have you have people who are like, yeah, Zetter's bullshit. Like uh, like Levin's a good example of that. Yeah. If he'll beat somebody, it'll be like this character's broken. I like Levin. <laughs> Funny guy. Yeah. Oh. Good oh. good opinions on Zetterburn. <laughs> That's all you need, really. Yeah. Ooh, still going. Oh, oh, that's so sad. There was a lot of percent racked up there. Um, ended up being a, a little bit of an SD, but like at the same time, like he couldn't get back on the stage with the side special, so he had to like pillar there and just didn't get the it's pillar true. out. That was um, that was a very sad SD from Brave, and it was actually the same way he died the first game as well. Yes, but the first game like he had less assistance for it, I think. Uh, yes, that is true. That is true. Um, are we doing you and uh, Nathan next, or me and Zach? Actually, we should do you and Zach next. Um, That's what I thought. Because loser of that plays Ash. So that way we're like ping pong between bracket. Yeah, I'm cool with that. All right, I will get Zachary. It's not you. We're gonna do Ash, or we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do Ash and Zora first. I mean, Dinos and Zora, sorry. You can't do this to me, he plays Orcane. You play, you play Arcane. Just be careful of the wires. We don't really have an OSHA safe site right now. All right, hello, hello. Hello, welcome. 
So what match do we have up next? Oh, we're going to have uh, winner's semis, uh, Plastic Dino Zora. All right. Good playing out there, buddy. Thank you. All right. All right. What's up? Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, Heat Wave will meet OSHA standards more, more than likely. I don't know. I'm not. Th I'm not the company involved with it, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I uh, I allow SAK to be the production company there. So yeah, we're gonna have Plastic Dinos and Zora coming up next, and then following that with uh, myself and Night Slash. All right. Should be exciting. We're we're getting close to top four. Well, see, there's regulations and then there's standards. Regulations are bare minimum. Standards are like, okay, well, like this is above bare minimum. This is like, y'all got your shit together. You know? Uh, if Zora's not here, then I guess we'll just do ours, but like. Yeah, we might have to do myself and Night Slash first, which is fine. I don't mind. Okay. day. I bet. Yeah. Shoutouts to uh, Refrain for driving me up today. My uh, my mini coupe didn't start the other day. Oh, so no. I, I need to just like bring that into the shop. My Jeep still works, but like I didn't want to drive up in a, in a like a manual Jeep from 99. <laughs> Well, that's it's, that's understandable. The the drive from like Tucson to Phoenix is like actually kind of miserable in a Jeep. It's weird. Um, the older ones at least. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Kevin uh, coming in with the the big old save. What a legend. Change the lower thirds. Oh yeah, huh? What's your uh? Okay. Uh, what's your uh, Twitter? Uh, Brave underscore R O A. Oh, okay. That's easy. For some reason, I thought it was different. Did it used to be different? Uh, yeah. I, I changed it, like, a few months ago. Okay, cool. So. I was like, yeah, I could have sworn it was something that I, like, didn't know it was you <laughs> unless I, like, went to your profile. But, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. It's going to be... Hello? I'm back. You missed me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, we're going to get SBS and Nathaniel Slasher because Zora disappeared into thin air. He's probably in the bathroom right now. But probably. either way, um, should be a pretty cool set. Yeah. Oh, that's the wrong one. There we go. All right. So SBS, uh, starting out with the APSA. Should be uh, pretty interesting. We haven't seen the APSA in one of these Phoenix brackets yet. Um, I know he has been playing a lot with Night Slash online lately. Um, and I can say from personal experience, that's pretty dang good. So this will definitely be one. Uh, th this will be very fun to see, I think. Definitely. Oh, and they're even in the right player slots. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> I, I know they're just around, making sure their controls are set. 
He's also just evil, so he's down airing over and over. Yeah. Wait, which one? Good point. All right. All right. Here we go. We're gonna get started. Good old merchant port. Woo! It's not even heat wave yet. We're going to merchant port. Listen, you're in Arizona. You always go to merchant port. Except Anyone that doesn't go to merchant port, I am very upset with. Okay, they make me want to puke and cry at the same time. Got it. That's why Craig makes me sad. He goes to Jewel Sale. All right, well, right now. We're starting off with a really solid edge guard here already from SBS. Just keeping Na Night Slash off stage. Ooh. Forcing him to use that wall pillar again. Oh, he just sneaks on with the wave land down to what a champion. Oh. Oh, <laughs> this is the wall tech. And Night Slash, after recovering, manages to take it back. Oh. Taking it back is definitely a way to say, oh, and he died there. there. Okay. Oh, okay. Not going to get another up air, but that was a pretty scary play for SPS to be. Okay. Got a really, really solid percent lead here from Night Slash. Just yeah. pushing the damage out. Right there, fair enough weapon to kill. Oh! Oh, the rock shards! And oh. the falling <laughs> up air! What a wow. champion! Wow, Night Slash really taking this. Playing like an absolute genius right now. Yeah. Oh. But can our genius recover from off stage against that? Oh! <laughs> oh, right there. I know, I know he's right next to the wall, but there's always that worry that, you know, you're not going to make it. Yeah, Night, Night Slash, he, um, he's one of the best frags, just period, at that wall recovery. Yeah. He is very, very good at it. And uh, that's that's our fault, because we always kill him if he doesn't do it. <laughs> so he's... um. He's gotten good at it. He's gotten very good at it. Yeah, we're right there. Sweet spot fair. We're going to kill him off the side. Good fair chain off the side. Uh, SBS still at like 80%, though. This is a, yeah. a really scary percent to be against Craig. There yep. it is. And there it is. And Night Slash takes game one after a parry to forward smash. That was a very solid game from Night Slash already. Um, getting really uh, consistent kills at like 80 to 100%. And uh, it was doing a good job of sneaking on past those edge guards, just not letting SBS get the best of them there. All right, now they're going to Julius Vale. I, uh, I like the pick from SBS. He's going, uh, going for a little bit of a flatter stage so that Night Slash can't use the platforms as much and, uh, and so that he has a, a better layout for edge Ooh. guarding. And just like that, he's going <laughs> to take him off the side. In like 15 seconds, Absa's like, air game is probably the best in the entire game, so SBS taking advantage of that, he's going to do a lot of damage with it. I'm going to make a funny joke. Absolutely. <laughs> do you get it? Yeah. Unfortunately. I think he gets it. Right. We're on next, Mr. Zachary. And uh, nice slash off stage again. SBS not giving him a whole lot of time to come back, and S Ooh. SBS is going to take that second stop. Yeah, taking the second stock with another fair edge guard. Already looking much, much stronger here for SBS. Just taking this momentum uh, from that first edge guard and just really running with it, kind of reversing the situation on Night Slash. Well, maybe you can ask Marine Vixie, because she got the joke. See, I don't need to explain it to her, because she understands. Yeah. I think you should be more like Marine. I thought that was going to be an up strong, honestly, knowing Night Slash. I thought he was just going to wave dash, wait, and up strong. Yeah, that sounds like him. Yeah, will SPS get the three stock here? I like the, the cute little upbeat to delay the oh, right there. Beautiful. Absolutely crushing momentum after that game. SPS taking everything that didn't work in that first game and throwing it out the goddamn window. Yeah. So now we're heading on to game three. With one apiece. All right, banning Frozen, banning Blazing, banning Gates, all very solid bans. And oh. we're headed to Rockwall. Yeah. I respect it. This is, um, Nathan has a lot of platforms to use, right? And he was dying off the side pretty early anyways because um, FPS was following his DI so well. Yeah. So it's, it's one of those situations where 
you're already dying, so you kind of feel like it doesn't matter if my opponent has it. it, it it's more advantageous for me, because they, they don't need it to take advantage of it. Exactly. I, I, I like the logic a little bit. Yeah, and we almost saw that fair that night slash you almost killed. There we go. There. Right Beautiful. There. Nair up smash. Classic crab combo. Oh. With the eye on the fair. Getting pushed off stage though. And SBS, this is the situation he likes when his opponent is off stage. Oh, there you oh. go. Great parry on the cloud. The double down tilt to mix up the DI. I absolutely love it. Look at that damage output. 0 to 77 in like two seconds. Yeah, that's something really good about Crag is that he oh! can nicely done. Zach's uh, staring at me over there. He's like, that's it. Yeah, that's, as I was saying before, oh. if you're not careful, Crag can really rack up that damage especially with his neutral game and his shards. His shards literally has helped me get so much damage on opponents. It's insane. 100%. And uh, Night Slash really, really taking advantage of, uh, of these percents. We saw that in the first game as well, where yeah. he was just so good at finding these super consistent, like, 80% kills. And now he's, uh, he's basically a stock up. Oh, oh, and then he just got zero to death. I'm a liar and a fool, and we are now dead even. Oh, great parry on that up tilt. The parry punishes this entire set have just been absolutely brutal so far. Exactly. Oh, uh-oh. Okay. SBS not hitting anything to push uh, Night Slash off stage. Uh, SBS re really reaching for those up airs. Oh, the up tilt! Oh, the oh! Sweet Sot Bear to take game two. Once again, we're seeing Night Slash have all this momentum, and in one like decisive moment, SBS steals all of it. And he got he, he got that F tilt into the back air, and with the small side blast zone, I mean Night Slash died so early for a crag. Yeah, it wasn't much he could do. Just like that, we're headed to FD. That's a this is an interesting counter pick from. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This is an interesting counter pick um, from Night Flat because you you don't have any platforms to help you. Yeah. Um, but also the Absa once you start hitting them they can't escape, right? It's um I'm I'm interested to see how this plays out. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh no, that's exactly what we're seeing is those platforms aren't helping, aren't able to help Night Flat. So he's just out in the open, waiting to be attacked. Yeah, SBS has been doing just a fantastic job of catching the, this DI, getting these super early kills on this crag. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh. Yo! Oh, shit! That um, was sick. Oh, uh, another. Oh. oh, no. I was about to compliment you, Nathan. <laughs> I just. Um, fantastic reversal from Night Slash, but really, really unfortunate SD. But. He definitely has the ability, and we've, I mean, we've basically seen it this set, honestly. He can take your stock like that. Exactly. And especially, I mean, Steven is approaching that percent again where we've seen Night Slash just consistently kill him. All right. Oh, I love the, the immediate wave land back onto the pillar to fake him out. Coming back with a fair. Oh, I'm strong, oh. not gonna kill, getting the funny box. Great uh, air dodge for the pair. Uh oh. Night Slash has got to find this kill. Approaching 144 now. Okay. Oh, Steven pushing him off stage once again. Great tech into the Nair, but Steven knew better that time, avoiding the, the Nair reversal. Oh. Yeah, this is exactly where SDS wants him. Nice exactly. Slash, if Night Slash doesn't recover, then... Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's back on stage, but Steven has lived so long. I mean, he got 150% of extra credit. Yeah. That is exactly what you want to see. Right That's there. It. Yep. Parry the down tilt. Parry into the parry punish. All right. SBS moving on to winner's finals. We're going to be playing the winner of 
Plastic Dinos and Zora. Oh my gosh, that's crazy, bro. I bet that's going to be a really good set and that Dinos is really cool and hot. Eh, my money's on Zora. <laughs> he plays Maple, so he's pretty cool. Yeah, Ma Maple's a really good character, and so is Claren. There we go. Claren AZ, because I play Heat Wave Claren, because I'm a genius. All right. And I'm going to get to it. All right. set coming out of that. Yeah, thanks. That was a, that was a lot of fun. All right. Let's see. <laughs> oh, I love Rockwell for Absa. I think it's one of her best stages. When he counterfeited me there, I was like, cool. No matter what happens, I'm never down. So, yeah. yeah. It's a it's a nutty stage. All right, we are going back into the originally planned one of Dynaman and uh, and Zora. Uh, we don't have that one, unfortunately. We we don't have the updated file on here, so ah yeah. But classic dinos, Zora's night. Look at them being so good on the stream setup. Yep. Oh, oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, D dying to crag fair at 50 slots, but then you remember that you're absent and you have also fair and back air. Fair and back air is also is like just a blast. Yeah. That's Look at that. Not to mention the ceiling is still pretty low in rock walls. So yeah. That up air is still going to kill really early. I think the only time I killed him off the top of the entire set was the up strong on the very last uh, parry punish. Really? Yeah. Which is weird because like, I think I, almost every single thing I killed him with was like a forward air or a back air. Yeah. Wild. All right. Here we go. We're going right into it on the port. Look at this Heat Wave Claren. You can buy it on the Heat Wave shop and support our uh, pot bonuses. Yeah, I have it too, and I say it's really good. So you should get it too. I agree. Unfortunately, so like, th there are no balance differences between the rollback and the live build, and the person that provided our uh, game setup today is on the rollback build. But oh. the, the difference that doesn't matter, but it does at the same time, is Claren's side special doesn't do the same thing on live as it does on rollback. Um, the Heatwave Claren on rollback doesn't have the star and doesn't have the cactus pop out. Oh. But on live, it works. And also on rollback, you can't do the mass talk cancel. Dang. Yeah. So, little uh, rollback nerfs to Heatwave Claren's coolness. Uh, but uh, like down this. strong doing it there. This is like one of the more classic matchups, especially as of late. Um, with Chompers here less often and me only making like, you know, every other weekly. Um, Dinos and Zora have seen a lot of each other. Um, and they saw a lot of each other before, but like it's like becoming a, a very common thing these days. Yeah. And these two, they, these two have been added for years, I believe. So yes. This is just a classic AZ matchup at this point. Yeah, like, I mean, they've been, like, going back and forth with, like, who, who takes a set for a long time, and then Dinos, uh, as of recently, has just been, like, solidified as one of the top, like, four players in Arizona, period. Um, we'll have to see where he lands on that PR to yeah. say the number for real, but uh, definitely in the top four, period. He's a very good player. Yeah. Um, and Zora has had uh, troubles lately with him. Uh, he has taken a set recently, forced him to switch off of the Claren into the Forest Burn, and... Yeah. Uh, Finished off the forest burn. Yeah, that was um, maybe about a month and a half ago. So like, it was still last season, but it was like halfway through the season. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, really interesting to see like how they develop each other's like 
different matchups. Yeah. And yeah, Dinos right now just looks in control. Ooh, doesn't get the chipper, but yeah, man, he's got nothing. Oh, and Dino just lets him live. Is this gonna be a three stock? Oh, that was close. Yeah. Dinos can't tip. Oh, uh, he couldn't tip it. Dan turned off the tipper button. All right. Now to recover. Okay, it goes for the uh, parry instant down special. And uh, just, you know, they, they just both kind of just missed there. And this is just like a very sloppy, wild Oh, right stock. there, finally gets the fair. <laughs> So that is something that you can do as every character against Claren. It's harder to do with some because you have to time which hit you tech. But you can tech her up special and then use an invul move to spike her. Yeah. Um, Maples isn't invul by the time it comes out. So you have to tech one of the later hits so she can't get the second swing. So your move comes out before the second swing, but you are vulnerable. But like tech fair is Rano, tech dare is Absa. Um, you get invul moves that can spike her out of her own up special. It's kind of nuts. And uh, Zora's been working on that quite a bit. Gets the stop there. I mean, obviously doesn't get the game, but like, um, it's really scary when you like have a big lead and um, then the person doesn't die for a long time, especially Zora. Yeah. Like, you, you, if you watch Riptide, this dude, um, one game won against Mentos and then got like three stock, but like took a long time on that three stock and then three stocked him back. <laughs> he just collects data. It's, it's creepy. Uh, he's got he's got the looks for it. Yeah. So, really? Ooh. Oh, the right there. That'll do it. Dinos catches him with the tipper up strong. Oh man. So that's the second time that Dinos has like tech the Lily and then uh, Zora has thrown out a strong attack that is like just like not spaced properly vertically. Yeah. Like I think last game he missed one high and that time he missed one low. And it's just like getting a little over anxious on the uh, the read there. Oh, and there's the forward tilt going below too. All right. Right there we see the parry oily. Whoop. Oh, the forward strike. Not quite gonna be killed. Right okay. Smash, All right. Yeah, and that's the one thing about this stage is that sm smash attacks on those big platforms mean so much more than just on the main platform. Right. Probably why Zora won't choose this stage, but not really working out. Yeah, so I've always loved this stage as any oh. character. And like, I feel like it's a great stage for Claren, but like, it's a fantastic maple stage. But yeah. I mean, Dino's getting the three stock there. Showing that uh, stage might not matter in this matchup. We might be seeing a quick 3-0 and going into winner's finals. All right, we go Rock Ball. Kind of a similar story to uh, Air Armada. Yeah, um, Rock Ball, there was once a PR season where all three of Zora's clips on PR on the PR uh, video were on Rock Wall. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but Zora likes the stage. Zora, Zora kind of needs a win right now. Yes, he does. Yeah, he's just too early on these uh, the forward airs. Like normally he goes for like a jump fair, but like Dinos has been going for the uh, the down special, right? Yeah. So what I would love to see is just a stand there and wait, and then once he does the down special, then you do the jump fair because there's a ton of end mic on that move, exactly. you know. That's kind of what happened when I was uh, playing Bright earlier in the tournament. Is that he was in the air and I just. Walked up and forward smashed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's that's the uh, first stock going to Zach. That's the yeah. first time that has happened in the set. So, uh, Rockwell looking good? Yeah, the save is a good choice for him. Able, uh, Answers right back. Yeah. Dinos is just so good with his tippers. So. Ooh, that fair caught him. Uh, Holy cow. What a recovery. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was crazy. Uh, but Zora continuing the string, like, you know, taking a little bit of a break. It was like the intermission of the, of the string. And right that's there. what I wanted. Yes. There we go. He's finally learning. Yep. I mean, he charged at that time. Like, if, if Dinos was above, um, he would. And, like, he charged, he might have still missed. But, like, 
I mean, that's exactly what you want. You want the patience to wait out the down special. Yeah. Alright, right now, Zora down to the second stock. Right now, not able to get any hits on him. There we go. Wow. Good. Zach is having a good time, and that's a scary thing if you're Dinos. You yeah. don't want Zach having a good time because that means he's confident. Wow, yeah, yeah, Zach is uh, uh so getting a lot of those health spells, and they've been helping him. Woo! Oh right Got there. Him. Up special. On the board after two not close games. Um yeah. gets a two stock. And Zach, he's Zora's laughing. laughing. He's having a good time. This is gonna, <laughs> gonna be a fun one. Dino scares him for a second there with the Zetter Burn choice and then goes back to Claren. Well I think we all agree that we don't need any of that in our lives. Yeah. All right, triple pawn. Interesting stage. Yeah, this is um a stage that like is one of Clarence's best. But yeah. Zora in historically has been realizing that he thinks he can play against Clarence in this matchup specifically just as good or better. So it's not really one that he needs to ban. Yeah. So it's not necessarily like a stage he'd go to, but it's not one that he minds the Clarence taking to. And as a Claren, I'd take him there every time, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Especially with that top platform there, it's not easy to get those down, uh, Maple's down there to say. Right. So, there's a lot, there's a lot of good stuff those platforms can do for Claren. It's, right? I actually think this is a better stage for Claren than Maple. So. I agree. That's just, oh, right uh, there. Catch, catch it's the side B. It's one of those things where it's like, he doesn't think it's so bad to the point where like, it's worse than the other stages he has to ban, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so first stock coming out, uh, Dino is only at 82%, which, I mean, sounds like a lot, but at the same time kind of isn't when it's against Maple. It is and it isn't. It's really weird, actually. Like, just like Maple does weird things <laughs> in terms of percentages. Oh, Larry! Oh. Not quite going to kill off the top. Larry's not a murderer today. Oh, he short off this. Oh, if he would have up such a there, I would have just, like, everything. I would have given it to him. Yeah. Okay. Right there, he's using the down airs really well. Oh, and he uh, expects the down special, and Dino's doing a good job mixing up instead of doing the down special. There's an instant up special off the Lily Bite Tech. Yeah. Oh. Four smash not quite getting killed. Oh, oh okay. There. I, I think the Nair would have killed there anyway, but like, honestly, it works. Oh. And it gets tippered right there. Yep. I was going to say earlier, um, board strong from Claren is not a great move um, until you tipper it. And then it's a, and that, then it's a broken ass move. One of the best moves in the game. Yeah. But so. like, he gets a, a sour at 130, doesn't even galaxy. He gets a tipper at 80, will probably galaxy. Yeah. Especially on this stage. Yeah. They easily tipper on the platform. Yeah, exactly. And like, Nice parry, but yeah, unfortunately it's going to recover. Yeah, Zora going to need to pull Rabbit out of his hat for this one. Uh, down two stocks to one and has 99% on him and oh, misses okay. the down strong. Not going to find it quite yet. He up strong there. He really should have. Yeah, up strong or even like, so like if right you. There. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Like, But like right there, up strong is obviously like the best option in terms of killing, like percentage wise. But. Um, Forward strong is also really good because it'll cover that same spot and then a little forward, so it won't kill as early. But it's still like it covers that little uncertainty you might have. You're like, oh, I don't know if he's gonna DI it right. So you forward strong and it covers that arch. Yeah. So like you'll see you'll see some clarins do that instead. But uh, down strong is kind of a cheeky one that uh, we'll do because like they'll be in hits done the entire way down, so you can tip her like near her head and get a kill off the top. But uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. We're gonna move into. Um, uh, Night Slash versus not PHD. Yeah. Give me another Crag versus Zetterburn matchup. Uh, Nathan. PHD. Night Slash. <laughs> oh, boy. We've entered top six from loser's side. Yep, top six from loser's side. We're going into uh, Night Slash, not PhD first. And then we'll swing over to Ash versus Zora.
Yeah, so, there's actually a cool thing you can see um, on Smash GG. Uh, um, um, um. Oh, it's stream queue, right here. So if you do it in order, it'll actually show whoever the streamer is. Like, if you're like a TO and you want to show them what order you're sending things up, like, cool. This one's going, this one's next, because I put them all in order. Yeah. So, like, uh, at Genesis, for example, it's like, I would just mark them for stream. And then, like, they wouldn't even need to ask me. All right. Exactly. Uh, frozen Gates right now. I believe that's what the stage is called. Frozen Gates. Yeah, it's Frozen Gates. All right. So this is not PhD, number one from uh, New Mexico against uh, Night Slash we just saw on stream a minute ago. Right now, not PhD kind of taking a pretty big lead. But you see Night Slash do Night Slash things, so. And they're pretty much both at kill percentage right now, so kind of bring it back to even. Yeah, one thing we mentioned uh, during your set against Not PhD is uh, his brother is the second best in Mexico and is a crag. So he gets a, a lot of crag practice. So I it's bet. really interesting to see how he plays the matchup, you know? Yeah, but right there, Harry's the Dacus, and he's going to F Smash to take his first stop. Yeah, I was on it, Vixie. I was on it. I was showing Zach a cool uh, Smashy G thing, and then uh, then had to type. Right there, Night Slash really using that rock to help recover. Night Slash at 200%. Yeah, this, uh, this crag does not want to die. You know, actually, my first game with the uh, Night Slash was very similar. Where, like, my Absa just didn't kill him that first stock, so he just ended up, like, taking two and a half before I got my first. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Like, Craig either dies at 100 or, like, 250. Oh. There's no in-between. Right there, he uses the rock for the extended hitbox. Amazing job. At living at 215 right now. Yeah, he's not even at death percent yet. Like, his kill percent is in another 10. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, oh, the double spike! Oh, he oh. went for it. He really went for it. Yep. And then a good tech coming off that uh, Zetterburn up special, going right back towards the stage. He's refusing to die at 282. Another good tech? Oh my gosh. This is going to be a three stock, I'm going to tell you. Yeah, that's one thing that not PhD might uh, not be ready for is like, Night Slash techs everything, dude. Yeah. He techs everything. Oh, he landed. Yeah, yep, got, got the pillar back. He's at a, he's at 330. Ah, <laughs> four tilt galaxy <laughs> oh, to 342. No. Oh, oh god. Oh gosh, he really wanted that four. He really wanted that three stock. We're right there. It's gonna end it. Unplug his controller. T kick him out. He's cheating. <laughs> All right. So Actually ridiculous. Right. Actually ridiculous, and as soon as he dies, he instantly gets an up tilt up air and just wins. <laughs> yeah. All right, so. Right now, Night Slash taking game one. Bans Triple Pond, Spirit Tree, and Rock Wall. Okay. Going yeah. to Jules? Yeah. Yeah, um, banning Rock Wall is interesting. I mean, Craig loves that stage. Craig. I guess Zetterburn does too. Yeah. It's a comfort thing, you know? And I, another thing is, like, you know, he lived to such a high percent. Why would he give him the rock wall percent? There, yeah, that's fair. So, yeah, I, I kind of see it, yeah. Ooh, 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 oh, 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 sour. <laughs> He's just standing nice. there menacingly. Oh, he goes for the, uh, he goes for the balloon. Yeah. He doesn't quite land on it, and then, uh, Night Slash getting fooled at first, but cleaning it up very nicely once he recognized the angle. Ooh. 
Big damage coming out on this second stock already. 85, 96%, and no resources. Not, yeah, it's not quite gonna do it. And this is a rinse and repeat, and he'll get his double jump back right here. And uh, gets yep. caught in the trade, so you're gonna be eyed up poorly nine times out of 10. Yeah, fair right there is just a killer. Right now he's gonna do this. Oh, go. he's been oh my god! Oh my gosh, he really wanted to spike him there. Yeah, uh, Night Slash going, uh, going ham off stage and dying for it. The classic. Oh! Um, Night Slash, okay. maybe regretting that now? <laughs> That's something we saw uh, with my set against Not PhD. Is him diving for that uh, down air really far. Yeah, that was uh, that was very confident. I won't even see Ballsy because, like, you know, Zetterburn can just do that, but that was a very confident one. And yeah, yeah that's going to clean it up. Yeah, fair. Yep. Yeah, Night Slash up 2 0 um, after a kind of a wacky game, uh, game two. Oh, we're going right back. Yeah, he wants to run back. Uh, Jules there. Right now, Night Slash just playing his neutral. Really good neutral right now. Oh, there's the Rock Shards. Hey, chat, what do you think? Should the AZ transition go over the webcams? Like, when, when you see the AZ rivals pop up? Or should it go under the webcams? Like, should you see the players before the, the uh, game comes on? I don't know, I've been messing with that. Let me know. I know we got a couple of you streamer mins in there. Right now, both at kill percent. Really is looking for that neutral uh, B to. Ooh, okay, cleans it up. Paired. You like under? Let's try, let's try under. And uh, let me know uh, what y'all think of it. Because uh, yeah, next time we transition, you'll see the cameras, so the transition screen will be under the webcams. because yeah, I think it gives you a little bit more anticipation oh, right uh, seeing the players. Yeah. Oh, that was a good spike. Um, it galaxied, and I think he had a chance to tech, but uh, just doesn't get it either way, though. Yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Oh. See, that's the Zetterburn thing. It's like, so Crag dies at 2% at either 100 or 250. Yeah. But then if you're against Zetterburn, he can also die at 40, because every character can die at 40 against Zetter. And we almost saw it right there. Right oh, doesn't get the killer. Yeah, it doesn't get the roll uh, invincibility, which is interesting. I feel like I heard it coming out still. Yeah, right now, they're basically even right now. Yeah, not PhD is uh, adapting really well to this style of Krag, because like Night Slash is a different Krag, man. He's like he's really got the recovery of like kind of like ZB recovery style, uh, where he techs everything and like does some good ledge dashes. But uh, his uh like neutral is just wacky. And he's gonna catch that. Uh, he's gonna catch that right there and yeah. get the game. So here, tell me, tell me what you think, Chad. Here, watch this. Boom. So that's um. Oh, the transition one's still above the cams. That's weird. Oh, because okay, yeah, no, it has to be under. Okay. So now, let's see. Yeah. Okay. So I had it the way I wanted it. I'm so stupid. I was like, yeah, I would like to see the the players first. Yeah, no, I, I like that. Yeah. Um, right. We're going to do Zora versus Ash now. Zora versus Ash. We just saw Zora play. We just saw Ash play. It's going to be these, these two you have an interesting matchup. Yeah, this is um, a oldie but a goodie. Um, we see a lot of 3-1s from this set. Um, a lot of counter pick wars. A lot of 3-2s as well. But, like, like, really, oh, thank you. A lot of like. That's real, right? Uh, yes. A lot of strong games in those three twos, though. Like, it's very swingy to yeah. the point where it's like the counter pick stage matters a lot when they play. Look at that. All right. Here we 
get going with our second loses fortress match. Yeah, man. Whenever they're ready. I... <laughs> All right, are we gonna see the Classico or are we gonna go to, uh... we're gonna strike. Oh, we're just going, we're just going, let's do it. Yeah, we're going to Merchant Port. Asian True Classico. Arizona man. There, yeah, for some reason I thought it wasn't under the cams before, and then I was like, wait, it was under the cams before. I'm really dumb, so I don't know. I guess present me had the same thought as past me, but present me also didn't pay attention to past me. Yeah, it happens a lot, doesn't it? Well, thank you for the, the input. I appreciate it, y'all. Oop, that's nice Perry. Dash attack as the parry punch there is a really interesting choice. I wonder if that's supposed to be a, uh, like a run up crouch and like a down down tilt or something. Maybe. Oh, you still almost converted off of it, so maybe that was a choice, but it was just an interesting one. Like you don't see that often from Morcanes. Nice catch of the up snatch. There. Double whip. So one thing Zora's been doing more lately is uh, strong attack reads, and uh, he's been, he's always been one of those maples that's like you know everything optimal, right? Yeah. But it's like yeah, but like sometimes. You throw out a smash attack, and it uh, it wraps them, and then they die at five. And yeah. so he's been uh, experimenting with that more and more, and we saw it right there on that uh, roll read, finding stock at like 80 uh, pre first hit. Oh wow, that tech roll barely missing it, but uh, the second one will do it. Yeah, that puddle down stall, really good move right there. <laughs> he tried to mark him and he went up into the lily. <laughs> right now, really wants to hit that back air. That, that's something Ash does a lot, is he likes poking with back air. Yeah. He's trying to get in there. It's such a good move, because like, um, if it um, if it catches you with the first one and you DI in, he can get whatever. Uh, but like, if you DI out and it catches the second one, then you just die, yeah. <laughs> you know? It's a, it's a tricky one to DI, and it's really good in neutral because it does have some of his best diff point. Right now, catching him with the down smash, bring him down to his last stock. Yeah, that'll that'll do it. Um, catching it like that was like 140 percent too. Uh, lots of lots of build up into that. And uh, Zora going for the four tilt, really good job there because that dash attack covered most text options, and then Lily covered the last. Yeah. Just uh, really aware of gaming right now, and uh, getting the free recovery back on the stage, and Zora cleaning up and catches the roll. Yeah, not quite gonna kill though. Yeah, like a roll read with um, like down strong as Maple is actually so devastating when you have Mark. Yeah. Because it just resets everything. Yep. Yeah. And that'll do it. Yeah. It was Tether like in the fair. Halfway through that uh, that game, Zora just kind of took over. Yeah. Especially yep. with his neutral game. And he recognized what he needed to do, and uh, he's like, he recognized what worked and what wasn't working, and just adapted yeah. fully. Um, and Ash taking a second here, possibly changing characters. This would be really interesting. I don't think we've ever seen that against um, Dora for him. Uh, he's gonna stay with Hurricane, but uh, maybe just taking a second. Yeah. But uh, it'd be interesting to see, like, if he loses another game, if he switches, because uh, I don't think he's ever tried a different character against Dora. I know he has against a couple other players, but like this would be a first in this matchup, I believe. It might yeah. be wrong. Ash, okay. feel free to ping me later if I'm wrong. Right now we are going over to Frozen uh, Fortress. Really big stage. Not quite sure what Ash's aim of Ash's goal is. Yeah, so this is a, a fantastic arcane stage. It's just got a lot of space. Um, really big off the sides and like Orkane doesn't really die off the sides very well yeah. because of his uh, high air friction. He dies off the top kind of almost like a lightweight, almost. But like off the sides, that dude is never dying. Like on a stage this big, you'd have to get him at the ledge or over the ledge and at a high percent to kill him off the sides. He's the final force snap. Like yep. But uh, what Zora did there on that first stock is actually like kind of the killer uh, like negative to the stage for him. Which is like, if you get caught above that platform, Orkane dies off the top pretty easily. Oh, and yeah. that was like a sub 100 death before the hit. And right now, playing neutral. Zora almost one full stock ahead of him. Oh, and catches the roll in and goes for the tether on the tech roll. That was really interesting. Yeah. 
nothing comes of it, and back to neutral we go. But yeah, full full stop lead now. Oh, that was an excellent wave line onto the stage. That's a very uncommon option from Zora. So I don't blame Ash for missing that at all. He almost always side specials there. Yeah, right now, getting that down smash. He's going to take stock one, but unfortunately, he's out 165. He's not going to be living much longer. Yeah, one lead from Zora or uh, one nice little edge guard, a marked forward tilt. All that will do it. But uh, yeah. honestly, it's kind of a weird percent because, like, you need that read or, like, like, you know, a little bit of a setup into it. And Ash is just. He doesn't need anything. He's at like 0%, so he gets to do whatever he wants, right? Yeah, and he builds him all the way to 91 before losing that stock. That's, if you're Ash, you gotta be happy with how that stock can play out, honestly. But like, in all honest, like in all actuality, like he probably should have died right away and it was, would be two stocks to one, but he ended up tying it up. Exactly. Like right away, we, we got ourselves an even final stock and that was just a really good string from Ash to bring it to where we are now. Oh, 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 he catches the air dodge up with, misses the up air, but since he was still in the air dodge up, he couldn't get away fast enough and uh, dies to the up strong, or up special. It's there basically an aerial up strong. Basically. Uh, so going to the force burn, huh? Yeah, force burn. Arizona force burn. Sign up for a heat wave. All right, and we're going back to Frozen Fortress. I have not seen Ash's fours in bracket in a hot minute, so I'm uh, excited to see this. Um, fours burn is one that actually Zora kind of struggles with too, so I wonder if uh, Ash knows that and is looking to exploit a little bit of it. Yeah. Or if it's just what he's feeling right now. Yeah, particularly, Zora struggles with that right there. Cape. Cape on the ground is something that he struggles with a ton. And woo, GI out, almost gonna kill him. That was almost like not good. <laughs> yeah, but Cape it just has that long range that Naples just not able to deal with that much. Yeah, and like you can cancel out of it with tilts. Uh, now that the forward strong is like a little bit stronger now, it's an actual kill move. Um, it's just um like, yeah, whatever Forrest beats Maple, whatever, that's fine. But, like, as a personal matchup, it's one that he's, like, been figuring out more, you know? It's that down tilt to up strong. Yeah, because, like, you can have, like, your own tier list, but, like, be like, for example, this character crushes this, like, this other one, but, like, as the losing character in the matchup, I'm really experienced in it, so I'll beat most people, right? Yeah. Um, and it's just, like, this is one that he's uh, less experienced at. And that's it's just interesting. It's close. Yeah, so this uh, coming down to a uh, this is a good game so far. Way way better game. I'm liking this. It's a good switch from uh, from from Ash. He's slowing it down, keeping the cape, keeping it annoying. Definitely. And uh, not really letting Zora get too many neutral interactions without having a cape directly in his face. Like look at that. His four cape is all over the place. Yeah. One thing I know Ash hasn't been doing is using clone, using smoke. Ooh. He hasn't really been using some of the more elemental side of Forza's kit. Yeah, just the, just the normals, really. Yeah, his neutral side has been really solid, though. I think if he just had more experience in the clone and smoke and stuff, I right. think he'd be really good. I think he'd, he'd be seeing a different song right now. Yeah, right there is the first clone we've seen in a long time, but like he, he's really abusing that cave, man. Yeah, um, yeah it's, it's interesting. Is coming out um, out of the corner with the clone. All right, all right, we're seeing some more clone now, and I'm liking that. I'm liking yeah. that. Clones are really helpful. Oh, tool right there. so that's the other thing about it. Like, so if you crouch cancel cape, you can parry right afterwards. But like, he just waited out the parry and down strong. Yep. You know, like cape gives him so many options that uh, it's, it's difficult for another character to deal with it, especially Maple, and it's so grounded. Oh, oh right catches there. it. Yep, falls That's out good. and catches it. All that was right. a good game three. Very good game three, but also uh, Zora taking this a 3-0. Yeah. Remember at the beginning of the set, I said it was like a, a historically a swingy match? 
lots of lots of back and forth. Well, uh, we didn't get that. So, all right. Yep. Next, next up, we've got winners finals. Yes, winners finals. Classic Dinos, SBS. It's gonna be a hoot and a holler. I'll set this up before I also use the restroom because why not? The Dinos is already icing me out. Yo. Oh, hey, it's good seeing you again. Uh, thanks for coming, man. Um, I don't know what I'm going to start against him. Maybe just change that when it comes in. Just don't click the X. Just, like, change it, like, normally. Yeah, yeah. I have no idea what I'm going to play against him. I might just start Absa and, and uh, go from there. I've, I feel like my ass has been playing pretty well today. This has been the pre crazy bracket, but we're already here in top four. SBS, Classic Dinos, Zora, and Night Slash. Yeah. So right now, how are we all how are we all doing? How are we all doing, chat? Kind of sitting on here alone. Good base cat. Uh. So, just a reminder, since uh, I was asked to talk about this, uh, next Saturday, if you are in the Flagstaff region, please swing on by, because right, we are going to be having Shine in the Pines. That's going to be going on. I uh, there will be details in the AZ Rivals Discord if you. You want anything? Uh, and yeah, that's gonna be going down. Hello. There's a lot of people in chat. Yep. There we go. Shine the Pines number 15, October 30th. We're going to be having Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. We are going to be having Super Smash Brothers Melee. We are going to be having Rivals of Ether, which you're watching right now. And we went all blurry. Okay. So. We're also going to be having Project Plus, if you are interested in that. Not, hopefully Nintendo doesn't send us a cease and desist, but you never know. Just remember October 30th, Shine the Pines 15. Uh, yeah, that was SBS that set that up. <laughs> so I am very excited for this one. Yes, hello Zora. Right, we are at winners finals, SBS and Classic Dinos. Are they going to do the Claren Ditto? They might, actually. Dinos Claren is looking fantastic today, man. Like, I gotta say, having just played it in Winterside, assuming it's still even a little warm, that thing was moving like crazy, man. Yeah. Oh, so good. Classic AZ Rivals matchup right here. Oh, yeah, this is literally the most classic. Yeah. I'm super excited. I hope everyone watching is also, like, stupid excited. 
All I right. know we're going straight to Merchant, so we're going to hit that before yeah, it gets they did the too in the corner, they did the corner, so. Man, I am so excited to see this plan. Uh, SBS Flaren is kind of a treat right now. We haven't seen it in a while, but Dinos is playing so fucking good, man. Uh, Dinos' punish game is just so on point. His edge guarding was phenomenal. His recovery was really good. Like, this is probably the best I've seen classic Dinos play, period. But wow. this is SBS. <laughs> and SBS is... And uh, he is definitely Daddy AZ, as you know. Like, yeah. look at him. He is, he is the Arizona, so... We'll see. Yeah. Although last season, these two went kind of back and forth with their with Claren. It's true. No, they absolutely did. Um, they've had seasons where the Claren matchup was pretty even with them. But historically, SBS is usually on top. Yeah. Um, even if they'll trade games and sets, usually SBS will eke out. Or have like a stronger lead. But they've been really close, and this is a new season. Anything can happen, man. This is the first time they fought all season, by the way. The season's new. It's young. Yeah. We're, what, three weeks in? If that. <laughs> like, if that. So, we're, like, two weeks and a half in. And, um, yeah, this is the first time we've gotten to fight. And what better stage to really set it than at a month old, you know? Yeah. Oh, God. All right. 177, 144. That's what I like to see from these yeah. two players. Yeah, going to take that first stop. Man, they're on Merchant Port. This is a really good stage. It's true. SBS claims this is his worst stage, so. <laughs> you know what's messed up? This actually might be one of his worst stages. Like, not not even joking. SBS is great on a lot of stages. Merchant Port specifically might actually be on the tail end of his stage list. Oh um, I think it's the stage I've gotten the most games on him in bracket. <laughs> oh, man. But it's usually because there's massive stuff, like maple cheese off the top glass zones or, you know, yeah. stuff like that. Ooh, God. Okay. Right. Hey, maybe we got something started. Ooh, that oh. was Gerald. You need to calm down, buddy. Yeah. That was kind of crazy. He almost got that zipper there, but he has yeah, just escaping it. Yeah. There we go. I'm trying to angle it up just a little bit. There we go. It should okay. be a little louder now. Yeah. Oh, right there. <laughs> oh, my Edge God. Edge during game Claren. is absolutely insane. So this season, for the record, uh, Dinos had the best season he's ever had last season, right? He was in contention for the second, third, maybe even first spot uh, at the start of the season. Uh, we haven't revealed the PR just yet. It'll be probably revealed in a few weeks. Um, but Dinos had a fantastic season. Definitely the best he's ever had. Yeah. Um, he is definitely not satisfied with where he got, and he's looking to get number one this season. He is currently undefeated. He has not dropped a single set all really? season so far. Yep, out of the two tournaments he's been to, uh, he has beaten me twice, maybe even thrice, um, and beaten Brad and a few other of our notable players, Night like Slack and yeah. Sawtooth. Just came to AZ. He hasn't gotten to fight him yet, but uh, didn't get to him, unfortunately. But, like, yeah, yeah no, he was just. And on Chomp top of it, man. Yeah. Chompers hasn't been around. He's been busy with school. Sure. So. School has definitely taken a lot of Chompers' time. But that's okay, because uh, we might see Chompers. Whoa. Oh, oh my right god. There. Let's go. But yeah, we might see Chompers later in the season. Not sure yet. But we're definitely not seeing them right now. Yeah. And something crazy has happened in the old oh, corner. I see yeah. everyone swarming like ants around that one setup. Literally, some people are on chairs. What the? What the heck is going on? Why, why are they freaking out Ults? It's not even that good of a game. Something I, I okay, well. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ults <laughs> is a fine game. It, yeah. I do not support Ultimate Hate in my stream. <laughs> Ultimate's fine. Uh, the game's fun. Sora just came out. Sora's a freaking blast. And Schroeder, an Arizona boy through and through, and a Rivals player, is probably in winner's finals. No one can play. <laughs> Probably should have started this. Ah, it doesn't matter. By this late in the thing, we're fine. This is the point in the stream where pretty much runs itself. That's fair, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, no, Ultimate's fun. Uh, I love Ultimate. It's not my style of uh, competitive game. It's definitely a lot of fun casually. I picked up the second Fighter's Pass just to play Sora. And Seppi. Yeah. Seppi's cool. Yeah. Um, no, they've, they've got some good characters. Yeah, I mean, they have some really fun stuff. I, it's abso not my I style absolutely style. freaked out when they uh, show off Pyro and Mithra, so... Hey, yeah, and she's cool, too. From what yeah. I hear, Aegis is uh, really, really good. <laughs> oh, okay, maybe there's something here. Cooking something on Trowful. Yeah. 
Oh my god. Uh, not quite gonna kill. Just a little short. Cool. The scary thing uh, is that that almost killed. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, well, we were ice climbing up to the uh, back on the stage. No edge guarding happening today. Ooh. Not quite in the kill. Oh. He sort of. Oh my! <laughs> there we go. Let's go, Steven. Dinos. He's playing pretty hot. I think. I think if SPS had gone Absa, he still would have had a really good set. Yeah. But I think Dinos, the way he's playing right now, would play significantly better against a floatier, more airborne character. I think the fact that his player is staying as grounded as it is is making Dino job so much harder. Definitely. But we'll see if Dinos can start doing something here, because that stock was uh, not bad. He, he basically forced him to a bad spot and had like no resources, so it is what it is. But if Dinos is able to get something out of it, it's going to be huge. Burn just double jump to try to recover a little less predictably, but uh, unfortunately is now kind of stuck yeah. in a rinse repeat loop here. Assuming SBS plays this. Wow, that spacing was right there, yep. For those of you watching, that was really good spacing. F strong outranging um, FP1 is actually really hard. So that was that was perfect space. Yeah, Burn just has so many weird hitboxes that she does. it's so hard to uh, deal with Burn's recovery. It can be. It's it's you gotta learn what like specific ones, right? Like the range of up special, range of up special hit to stuff like that. Oh hey Sonny. <laughs> first time chat. Yeah, I mean I guess it's <laughs> technically a first time chat, but we've definitely seen you a few times. Hey man, we can talk a little bit about it. I will always support our fellow Arizonians, Schroeder in particular. That's fair. Schroeder is a really good play. Oh, so beautiful. Right there. We'd love to see that. SPS is kind of dominating. He's kind of working around plastic dinos and then just oh, hey, taking Chomp. over. Chomp is staring me down. All right, and we go to Tempest T. So if I remember correctly, SBS absolutely does not like the stage, and Dinos absolutely loves the stage. <sighs> they both love the stage. This is a classic. Um, they're both very, very much Tempest pickers. Let's get one thing clear. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, they like the stage. Dinos might like it a little more than Steven nowadays, but I think that's more just Dinos plays on here more often. But they both like the stage. They both know what they can do here, too. Yeah. Goodness. He punishes. At least the song is really good. So, oh, right there. Now it's not able to do much with that grab. Oh, oh maybe that something started? This is the wall tech there. Mm, that's unfortunate, but hey, it's possible. You miss a, tippers in general are a little tricky to tech. If you tech a little bit too early, like waiting for a sour spot or something, and then you get the sweet spot, yeah. It can mess your tech up pretty bad. Yeah. Oh, right there. Tipper Forge from really good solid move. There he gets the tech. Ooh, okay. Get something started, maybe? Pretty solid edge guard situation. Oh, so good. That was smart. SPS knew uh, he's burning his resources early. He's probably going for a cheeky play on that platform. We jump over there. Yeah. Doing a whole lot, but right. Ooh, Plastic Dinos could have really converted on that. Ooh, okay. Maybe getting something good. It's so weird on the stage. Like, yeah, the clan's off stage. This is clearly a, an edge guard situation, but then that side platform gives you just so much versatility that it's hard to say if you're actually going to get edge guarded or if you're just going to turn it around and make it your edge guard. Yeah. Right there, gets tippered and is going to die, losing his last stock. Oh, never mind, they both do, so. Amazing. All right, M, we're in a last stock situation here. SPS up two games. This is uh, the winner's side stock for Dinos. Though, knowing him, he will not go down easily. And even if he does lose, he'll be fighting his way through loser's bracket. By fighting his way through, I mean fighting one match. 
either me or Night Slash. <laughs> but he will be fighting. The oh, gets oh. the double spike. And it looks like we're going to see him fight regardless. Because uh, next up is me and Night Slash. Yeah. All right. SBS with the double spike to take game three. Absolutely crazy. SBS going to be entering grand finals, and we'll see if Plastic Dinos can catch up from behind. Boop. All right. Oh god. Oh god. That's a thing. Yeah, right now. Oh, no, I, I just better show you in big screen because. Man. Creating cactuses in the background. Absolutely. Uh. All right, up next, we've got loser semis with Zora and Night Slash. Microphone now. Hello. All right. Crazy. Did you already change it? You did already change it. All right. We have Nathaniel Flasher versus Zora. We're getting ready. We're getting, we're getting started. They're going to Merchant Port. Oh, thank you. The one time I start to stretch. Anyways, um, this will be <laughs> a very interesting set. Um, Nate did the Night Slash was playing very, very hot earlier. Um, I'm very excited to see. These are these are two players who, whose punishes are just immaculate. Next level, yeah. They're just untouchable. Um, so it's going to be, I think this might be a bit of a barn burner. Yeah. Already got him off stage on the wall pillar. Coming back, but getting F tilted off because it's Zora. Oh, great nice tech. wall tech. Ooh, ooh. There we go. Yeah. Nice job. Nice. Oh, uh, carries the up tilt. Not quite going to kill, though. Yeah, it was, uh, that was good of Zora to land on that platform as well because Night Slash was right under it, waiting for an up strong, uh, trying to cover the grounded landing. But straight up did not happen. Take my hat off for now. All right, now these two basically are even. Nice. Oh, nicely done using the rock to set him up for the ups. Um, yeah, and still keeping a stock right now too. If he can get a punish started and get a whole lot of percent, it is looking very, very nice for him. Yeah, great catch. I love that catch with the back air, waiting for the tech into the up B. I love that. All right. Getting some dash pack down tilts going on. Yeah, um, Night Slash is, uh, he's a newer Arizona player. Um, he started right before the pandemic. Uh, like, he was at Heat Wave. Um, that was basically when he started, Heat Wave 3. Right there, catching him with the forward yeah. smash. Absolutely devastating move to get hit by it. So, and got, so him laying it right there was really good. 
just absolutely <laughs> crazy damage output right now. Yeah. Night Flash is just having none of Zora's <laughs> stuff. He is, he is dash attacking, he's down tilting, and he'll do it wherever he pleases. Oh. Or he'll die off stage. <laughs> Alright. Uh. Okay. Oh! Nice, nice job. That's not the easiest move to parry, really. Hi, yeah. Sego, it's me, Dinos. Uh, SBS won. So I'm in loser finals, and he's in grands. Oh, okay. Oh, gets oh, the right root there. into the wrap. What a champion. Oh, Zora's kind of taking this back. Yeah, he's done a great job of uh, of uh, bringing back this percent loss right now. Yeah. And he's got him off stage. Oh, no, no resources. He's done. Zora takes game one. You're, well, oh, you're welcome, man. Mr. Sego. And just like that, Zora kind of stealing that game, um, taking game one of the set. Yeah. And this is an important set too. This is um, the winner of this is gonna go on to play me in losers finals. I should update that actually. Yeah, we are coming down to the wire. There we go. All right, got the spirit tree band. Sounds about right. I think we'll also probably see a gates and a um, and a frozen band. That's my guess. Yeah. Oh, Jewel's fail in Tower of Emmett, and we're going to Gates. I think Zora heard me and said, fuck Dinos. <laughs> Holy shit. And we're on Forest now. Or not Forest, <laughs> Jesus. On uh, Fortress. Fortress. A whole right. lot of top platform camping as of right now. Oh, great damage output. Oh, gets the wrap into the remark. Um, I've noticed this set so far. Zora has been putting in an immense amount of work with these back airs. Definitely. I mean, it is actually insane how much he's getting off them. Oh, oh I like that. Oh, oh, I'm not quite going to make the pillar. Yeah, just went a little bit too far down. And now we've got uh, Night Slash, a full stock down. Yeah, this is kind of the reverse of what we saw last time. Oh, oh. now he brings it back. Zora is laughing. This is, this is, he's having fun right oh, now. Oh yeah, they're both have, like hysterical right now. Uh oh. It's funny because like with the masks and stuff, you actually can't tell, but if you can hear them through the mic, like they're losing their shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Night Slash kind of taking the stock back at 295. Ooh, oh. there. He, um, Night Slash has definitely brought this back, but every time Zora starts winning neutral, it's just like, it's a locomotive. And he keeps shoveling the coal in over and over. Oh, the oh, rock! Oh, the rock saved him. You're streaming Blueberry at a time like this? How could you? I do love you, though. Mwah. Bye, Connor. Ah! <laughs> Great tech. We're back to even percents now. Okay. Sending Night Slash off stage, going deep for the fair. All right, All well. All right there. Game to parry. You, you can see him on stream really laughing hard. We're still going. Night Slash has just not stopped this train. Yeah. Oh, oh that could have been <laughs> dangerous. That looked like it connected. That, that's just one of those moves where it doesn't look like like it it looks like it'll kick more times than it actually does. And yet when it does, you just it's just so brutal. Oh, Nair off the top, very nice. Yeah. And uh, we're kind of seeing the same situation as last game now, where Zora is down by a pretty significant margin, um, and we'll see if he can uh, repeat the same magic, catch that lightning in a bottle again. Okay. At 154, basically anything's gonna kill. Like if a if a stray fair lands, Zora's probably gonna galaxy. Yeah. Oh, oh right there, what up? Right there. <laughs> there it is. Sweet spot up air. Good old Nair into up air conversion. Oh. Something's going on alt corner again. <laughs> Ooh, 
We're just gonna wait one sec. Something crazy must have just happened. I mean, it was a cool near up air. I gotta say, I didn't think it was that cool though. <laughs> yeah. I think some big upset just happened in Smash. Maybe. Yeah. That's that's the only thing that would elicit that kind of reaction. Yeah. Some big upset just happened. Wait. Huh. Okay. Anyways, continuing with our arrivals of Aether set. Yeah, right now we are 1-1. One, one. Yeah, we're 1-1, one, one, lose your semifinals. Frost, an Arizona player, beat K9. Oh my gosh. So, pretty cool. That's why everybody was popping off. Yeah, Anyways. Their bracket's almost over at this point, right? Oh, um, that was a qualifier for top eight. So their top eight's probably gonna take a few hours. Yeah. So they're just starting top eight. They'll probably finish a few hours after we do. But anyways. Right now. We Ethereal are back Gates. to, uh, yeah, we're at, we're at Ethereal Gates. We've got pretty even percents right now. Um, I'm surprised to see this day. Oh, game. nicely um, done. Back, back air tether forward air. It was, it was very nice. Lily putting a stop to that nonsense. I love the jab check from Zora. It's so smart. Um, this is a bit of a surprising counter pick coming from Zora. Uh, I know he's been trying it out lately. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. That's really sad. The hell? The light didn't even go off. What? Are you good? That was strange. That was really, really sad. But that's okay. Zora's gonna pull it together. See, he's already going deep. Not gonna let that stop him. Oh, oh. Okay. After that weird disconnect, Night Slash is kind of taking it back. Again? His controller's not even going off. Uh, SPS is doing TO right now. Yep. Thank God that rock was there. If that rock wasn't there, he would've walked right off stage because the controller got stuck on the right input. That, um... Yeah. Night Slash being incredibly respectful right now. Oh, absolutely. Big hey. shout out to Night Slash for being such a such a man about it. I think they're deciding what to do about it now. I'm guessing they'll probably just restart with two stocks. Yeah. Because I think they're on the two stocks. I, I forgot now. I yeah, got so distracted. They're at two stocks. So that, that restarting at two stocks, I think, makes the most sense. Oh, they're just restarting well, the game? All right. Restarting the game. That's well, fine, too. Looks like that's what they agreed on. More power to them. Yeah, that was really weird. His light on the controller didn't even go off. Yeah. What is happening? Yeah. They are you know my cord? Could be a cord thing, yeah. Okay, all right, we got another cord. Yeah, that's, um, Zora bought a new cord specifically so that wouldn't happen. Because <laughs> he thought his was getting worn out. We already reset the game. Oh, you mean reset the game entirely? That's not gonna do anything. It's a problem with either his controller or the cord. It's, it's a, definitely a hardware issue, no matter what it is. Oh, they are resetting, resetting the game. game. Okay. I wonder if maybe a, a GameCube uh, controller was taking priority. Because that does happen. Yeah. I don't know. That's really unfortunate, though. Huh. All right, we're checking the new port.
Yeah, sorry about the uh, technical difficulties there, guys. Uh, we are 1-1, one, one, though. I think they're just doing a button trip. Okay. Alright, yeah, All right. looks like there's something wrong. And it's trying to reset, so... That is really, really unfortunate. Yeah. All right. Yeah, they're um they're deciding what to do about it right now. Until then, you get our lovely faces. Which you, you can get only the see guy on my shirt. <laughs> ah, that's okay. Yeah. <sighs> All right. It looks like he's gonna go. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, that would be really unfortunate. Yeah. <sighs> uh, all right. Well, they're gonna go test it on another setup to see if the controller was the issue, and I guess we're gonna go from there. Yep. So. Maybe I mean I I have no idea. Yeah, it would be a huge pain in the ass, and no one else has had issues. So, sure. I mean, it's as as much as I hate to say it, I hope it's his controller. Yeah. It's We could try that. They reset the game though. Anyways. Hi chat. Oh man. It's been a really fun tournament today. It has been. Yeah. We had uh, like a 30 person bracket, some DQs cuz of smash of course, but that is uh how it does go. Um, lots of cool sets, too. This top eight has been very interesting. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, In the end, it was you. <laughs> I think stream still hears us. Yeah, I yeah they just lost game audio. That's okay. Huh? Hey. Uh, no. no. We lost sound. I heard a static sound, but I think you'll have to restart the game now. Yeah. All good. In the end, it was you. Steven's been reminding people not to not to trip over that cord the entire day, and at the end of the day, it was him. Yeah. He was what he had sought to destroy. He's the monster that he once feared. You hear any game audio? I don't hear any no. game audio. Current, yeah. Yeah, but so far we've had some pretty crazy upsets. We did have quite a few, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to pull up the bracket because I can't remember them all. Um, main one uh, that I was talking about earlier was um, uh, Gil, Gil, Gil the versus player from, Yeah, the player from New Mexico. He beat Abasi, which yeah. was our sixth seed, I think. Yeah. So. Abasi, I mean, if you've been around Rivals for a while, you definitely know who the hell Abasi is. Why are we... There we go. I don't know. I, so, I think it's just when we move back and forth that the camera freaks out. Yeah, it, did, it couldn't focus. That's what it was. Yeah. So. And we, we didn't see Abasi after that upset. No, he um, he ended up DQing to go get food because, of course, he did. <laughs> yeah. That definitely sounds like Abasi. Yeah. We were even making jokes about it that he'd beat Zora in winners and then DQ. <laughs> didn't quite happen. Yeah. Yeah. And Pokey uh, getting one out on Craig 2-1. to one. Yes, that was another pretty good upset. Yeah. Still nothing. Nope. No, not... I, I hear us, just not the game. Yeah. Okay. Nothing. Still just ourselves. No, not PhD no. taking uh, the set against Isaac 3-2. That was a big one. 
uh, PhD being the second, the. Uh, so we're gonna do a laptop back here. Do we want to bring a laptop up here and just plug that in? We could. You wanna do that? Yeah, because if, if Zora wins, then we're gonna have, not have it on set, like the rest of the tournament on stream, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, like, so bring the laptop up and have him plug in now that we unplug the hitbox. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I double-checked all of them. I don't think any nominees. Currently, we are having some technical difficulties. playing this this all day but just a reminder in like what is it three or four weeks we've got heat wave at this same location so if you're if you're planning on being in the area make sure to come by we really appreciate it if you're not able to come though we've still got a shop online we can buy some different types of merch some cool skins just in general supporting our tournament because we appreciate everything Everything you guys do. Sorry, I'm listening for um, for audio. For audio, yeah. And in addition, next week on uh, October 30th, yep. if you're in the Flagstaff area, we are going to be having Shine in the Pines number 15. There's an American Legion bar that we go to. We rent out half the place. And we're going to be having Ultimate there. We're going to be having Rivals no, either. We're going to be having Melee. We're going to be having Project Plus. Make sure to be there. No, we all play. We all get drunk. Still no we game. all have a good time. So. Nothing. Um. This might be a dumb question, but is it plugged into the right port on the back of the PC? Hmm? You motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus. All right, well. Ah. Gotcha. All right, well. All right. I figured it out. I'm got, a fucking genius. We've got audio back. Do we have video back? Uh, well, yeah, video has been there the whole time. Um, we were, uh, the video was, nothing was wrong with that. We were checking to make sure that um, Zora's controller was not broken. Yeah. So. You just get us for a little bit longer while they test it. Wonderful audio, by the way. Oh, yeah, you can, you can hear Nathan, like, practicing his wavelands <laughs> and totally fucking them. <laughs> Uh, that was a very, very unfortunate misadventure, but it looks like we're getting back into the swing of things. Mm. Looks like we are uh, we're switching out our current stream setup for um, for one of our other setups. So you'll have to bear with us just a few more minutes. Yep. Time is it 5.55? Yeah. yeah. We'll still probably finish about 7. We've got um, the rest of this set. We've got loser finals and then grands and possibly grand reset. Yeah. You're talking tech stuff over there. Oh well. It would not be a Rivals of Aether tournament without a bunch of technical difficulties, to be honest. Yeah, that's... As, as someone who helps run the tournaments up in Flagstaff, it, yeah. 
We, we have quite a few technical difficulties up there too. Yeah, I, uh, I run the Phoenix Weekly like literally every week. Definitely have issues from time to time. Not, never anything this big though. This yeah. is just really unfortunate. Yeah. It... Let's blame it on Dan. I'm down to blame it on Dan. Yeah. Fix I your game, so. Daniel. Daniel Fornacy, if that's even your real name. I don't think it's actually on his game this time, but. Yeah. I am blaming him though. Just always blame Dan. I'm watching you, Daniel. We're getting there. Yeah. Good thing Steven bought a new a new laptop for him uh, like literally a day ago. Yeah, so. very good. We have plenty of setups that would have been able to work for it, but still. I don't hear audio. You don't hear anything? No. We have to go through this again since uh, changing setups. I think there's something wrong with them. Um, it must be controller drivers or something. I have no idea what could have caused that. Yeah, but why? But they're both using Xbox. Exactly. Uh -oh. Maybe it couldn't handle more than two controllers. But then it was fine with yours. Your exactly. Yes. There, there hasn't been a problem the whole day, and we've been using it the whole day. Yeah. So, I don't know. It just had to happen on stream. That's all. Yeah, since you guys didn't stream anything before Top 8, right? Well, we couldn't, yeah. We wanted to stream the whole thing. But yeah. Unfortunately, uh, we were having issues with the net code, the network. Yeah. So, um, we were able to get it fixed before Top 8, though. So, we just had a nice, clean Top 8 stream. And, uh, you know, it was mostly clean until now. Yeah. But that's okay. That's nobody's fault. The venue can see my big ass head right now. They also can see the sick ass hat, though. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's backwards in the camera, so no one can read it. Oh, that's okay. What does it say backwards, anyways? Uh, I would love to tell if the camera would focus. C knob. That's all, that's as far as I care to go. Yeah. To be honest. I think we're almost set up here. Yeah. Oh well. I get a nice long rest before my next set. <laughs> hey, you're not stressed out over the setup like SBS is, so. <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. I'm just blowing kisses at Chompers. <laughs> They're good stretches, okay? <laughs> It helps me. Oh. What, are you going to go to the bathroom next now, too, asshole? <laughs> uh, he, um, he was not able to come today, unfortunately. But he was able to come later and spectate. So yeah. we at least get to hang out with him. This camera, I swear to God. It's evil. If I'm like out of frame at all, it stops focusing. Yeah. There we go. That's funny, Zora has to go out with the audio problem now. That he caused, it's his fault. Cancel Zora. I wish we at least had audio so I could hear music. Yeah. 
It's dead. it's all loadly. This be a good place to practice improv. You take any improv classes, Brave? No, no, I don't. Uh, I am not. I am not a comedic genius. Yeah. Well, you don't have to be a comedic genius to do improv. In fact, I'd argue that most people that take improv are the opposite of comedic genius. And that's fair. Yeah. That's typically how it goes. Ooh. Oh, yeah, they're doing something with the audio. Yeah, no, like, instead of taking an improv class, I took a class in public speaking, so. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Hey, Matt. There uh -huh. he is. Uh, how's it going, boys? Oh, uh, you know. Just, uh, uh-huh. Nothing. Oh, God. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I heard whatever that dinging sound was. So, yes. Uh, yeah. Not game audio, but I heard that. Gotcha. There it is. There we go. Woo. Oh. That makes sense. Anything you want to say to the viewers before we get back into the set, Matt? Chad is disappointed now. See? Look at that chat member. Extremely disappointed in you. I just came for the board. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I was sad you couldn't eliminate me, but I'm glad you're here anyways. Yeah. I mean, something like that. Really it was like you went in for a smooch, which is even better, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> they can't see it, but you were all puckered up. Are they playing right now, or are they just... Okay. I heard, like, act... Huh? No, Agent. Uh, he was making out with the cam. Yeah. I heard, uh, I heard, like, dash sound. So. Did it happen again? God damn it. It happened again, I think. That's I mean, really, really fucking sad. Huh. We think it's downloading drivers for his controller is what it is. Jeez. And there's like not a whole lot to do about that, unfortunately. Did it happen again? Sad. Again. I Yeah. He's gonna try Steven's controller now, I guess. Yeah. No, it's it's only been Zach. And even when Zach played on here before, it wasn't an issue. Because, you know, we've been playing on this thing all day. Yeah, I mean, it's got to be, right? This is really sad. It's always, like, the most expensive answer, too. I cry every time. Every time. I'm glad we're gonna have so much dead air now. <laughs> Although it wasn't really dead air, you know. We talked yeah. about a lot of interesting things, like uh, improv classes, you know. Huh? Yeah, like improv classes. Do you take improv classes, Matt? <laughs> Fair enough, understandable. Huh? You want to commentate this set with me before, uh, before I have to play again? 
Alright, Brave. Do you mind if Chomper commentates the set with me before I have to go play again? Go ahead. Thank you. Appreciate it, dude. Brave will return in Rivals of Aether Endgame. You guys get like a close up of my my shirt. Woo! Wow, it's really you. Okay, they're just finishing resetting. Uh -huh. I like the new glasses, by the way. Thank you. I've had them for a bit, but I don't generally wear glasses with masks because yeah, it it fucking sucks. I'm blind without them, so I feel you. I need to get some anti-fog shit or whatever for yeah. my frames, but eh, I'm too lazy. Making sure that, uh, I, I remember now they were 1-1, one, one, so. 1-1 one, one on gates. For sure. Really, really unfortunate derailing, but we're here now. Yeah. Oh my god. We're back to Rivals of Aether. We're back. Just like that dinosaur movie. Did you see We're Back? No. Oh my god, wait. Your name is Plastic Dinos and you've never seen Warback. Chat no. knows what I'm talking about. Vixie, this is definitely a movie I know you've seen. You had to have. Well, how many Jurassic Parks have you seen? I don't know. Maybe like two or three? Maybe? Mmm. Mmm. I watched Land Before Time as a kid. And that's honest enough to me. <laughs> I watched uh, I watched Dinotopia. That was what I watched. Alright, so we're finally here. I'm I need to stop memeing because we're actually like finally starting again. So we are and uh, we're back here in loser finals to play basically the best of three set now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean they had such a long break it's like they it's like they warmed up and were ready to play their best of three. But Indeed. Unfortunate controller shenanigans aside, um, it was very, very even the first two games, and it is not looking any different right now. Oh yeah, for sure. It's actually really cool in Night Slash to just have that patience too, and just absolutely uh, again, be willing to work with Zora with throw this whole. Indeed, like ordeal. like I said, like huge shout out to Nathan for just being totally cool about all this. Oh yeah. It's um, it's very. It's, I understand it can be very frustrating. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that he was, uh, he was such a nice man about it. Yeah, definitely. And that's why Zora's being nice and letting him live to 216. Jesus. That was actually really dirty right there. He jabbed him, and Zora was expecting to like tech it from like a tilt or something into the wall, and then Night Slash just let it rip. Ironically, he kind of, he kind of took a, a like a page out of everyone else's book, edge guarding him. Cause that's like <laughs> that's like what people do on his pillar. Yeah. Ooh. He has nothing. He's just dead. Ooh. No, uh, no helicopter. No air dodge. Just Indeed. sadness. You hate to oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it so. I'm sorry. That might have come out really loud. I'm so sorry. But I've seen that way too many times. You, know, you see the one... back air, and you see the second back air, and you don't want to watch anymore. There's one of two ways that could go. Look at the patience on this edge guard. Ooh. Oh my god! Nathan popping up. Yes! As he died. <laughs> yeah, that was that was the Nathan thing. That was the Jeff Jeff Downstrong that he always fishes for. What a champion. All right. Um, Night Slash going up 2-1 now. Indeed. So, um, I think uh, Gates is an interesting counter pick from Zora. And so is this, right? Um, these are stages Night Slash will counter pick you to. You know what I mean? And uh, Aramata, yeah. I get a little more than Gates. I think Gates um, is a very strange one. I know he's been trying out stages, but still. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to try out a stage, it, it kind of makes sense when you have a game to play with. Um, rather sure. than, like go to Aramata first, that doesn't pan out, and then go Gates as your final game of the tournament. Yeah. That kind of makes sense. I agree. If you're I trying agree. to test out stuff, it doesn't hurt. Uh-oh. Whoa-oh. Goes for the fair? Oh my god. Oh my god, god the triple fair. <laughs> oh my god, he never landed. That's last uh, never landed, dude. He's That's just crazy. Dead. 
Yo! How's it going, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long. Yeah, he um he he walked up and he said, "What's up, Uglies?" And I was like, "Dude, I didn't even think you were actually gonna be here." <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even recognize him at first. Yeah, I was like, hair, yeah. I was like, wait. Like he he wants to talk to me, and I was like, wait. And then I saw the face. And I was like, oh yeah. my god, because he looks good, right? Yeah. Like, Last time I saw him, I mean, his hair was all you know, yeah. it was longer. For so. context, that was a bossy. Yes. Um, yes, which, he is. Yeah, we haven't seen him on stream at all because. I don't know if you were uh, if you saw the bracket at all. Abasi actually lost to uh, one of the New Mexico players, Gil. I heard that. So I want to ask you about Gil, but I kind of want to commentate this too. I'll ask yeah. you in between games. Yeah. No. No. You're right. Um. Ooh. Wild though. Very even. He's um he's been getting a lot of mileage like pretty much all day out of these back air vortex. Yeah, this is, um, back air is an option, is something I've been seeing increasingly more and more from Zora. And especially at Gopher since he started leading it into Cheddar Fair, which I'm so glad he's finally been doing. I know, that's right? It's so tight, and it's, I mean, it's, it just gets you really early kills. Back air comes Tether, out so quick. Like, Tether into option is just very cool, and he never did enough of them. And now, like, he's going for these really simple, like, Tether Fair kills, and even that is just a big boon for him. Definitely. Ooh. Great call out on the down tilt. Doesn't get very much off of it though. Oh, okay. Whoa, the one hit of the back air to stop that. that that's what it? I'm saying, man. He's starting to weave in these back airs here and there. What is <laughs> the fair into the stage? Leave him he alone. That. that is so scary when he does that, uh. dude. Like I'm off stage and recovering against Maple, and then I get fared in the same. I'm like, wait, I didn't expect the tech. Why? Why would you right? do that? <laughs> Oh, he went for it again, but missed Scary. it just a little bit that time. Gotta gotta recover this momentum. There we go. They're off the top. Yep. Okay. Oh, off the side, but still. Yeah, Night Slash had pretty good DI there. It just wasn't perfect. Yeah, he, I think he uh, he probably missed the, the drift in. Is my yeah, guess. yeah. It's hard on Aramata. But yeah. game five, baby. Game five of this very, very long set. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Anyways. Um, we're getting the Frozen DSR ban. Uh, mad respect for that. I would not want to play Nathan on there. Nah. Gates DSR. The Gates DSR is interesting since um, since Zach actually picked it. That like that was Zach's counter pick was Gates. I mean, I guess that kind of goes back to what we were thinking. How it's he's just testing new things, mm -hmm. and he's gathered that information and said, okay, that didn't pan out, or at least. I don't know how I want to approach that counter pick right now, so yeah. might as well just ban it. Then go back to the drawing board later. Yeah, he's he's definitely been experimenting a lot with stages lately. Like against me, he left Travel open, and the other day he left Tempest open. Stuff like that. Like he has been. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's been trying out a lot of stuff in general, and it's really cool to see. Rockwall though. Good old Rockwall. The most unsurprising. Uh, well, oh no, Nathan picked this. So actually, I am a little surprised now. It's definitely like stocks are gonna melt. Oh yeah, <laughs> period. This is, uh, what is it? <laughs> he caught that. <laughs> oh, no. that was, wait, was that tether above? He caught that with downbeat. Yeah, he did. That reaches up there. Literally. I mean, I guess the big horn, right? <laughs> Not even a fucking combo. Just, just raw, manly downbeat. That's insane, dude. Uh oh. Oh, he got caught by the nair. Um. Uh, Nathan oh. was forced to tech. Oh, what that is... was crazy. Hey, remember how you said stocks were going to melt? Bro, <laughs> Rockwall. Welcome to Rockwall. Zora on Rockwall and Crag on Rockwall. Oh, my God. He almost died out. He knew the, the bear. Gonna... Oh, my God. Okay, Nathan lands, but... Whoa! <laughs> I've never seen him crazy. do any of this. He's pulling out so many cards that he's been... Keeping under his sleeve like the entire set. This For one real. Game. Hell, he's been keeping this under his sleeve the entire day. I have not seen him do any of this. That is, oh my god. Jesus. All right. Um, well, Zora up a stock now. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna kind of assume there was a crazy momentum swing after getting that aerial down B on the tether, but uh, for you the would wrong never, person, you yeah. would never remember that happened based on how Zora's playing right now. That's crazy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Does not get the fair. 
And Night Slash back on stage, getting his resources back, trying to get this edge. Oh, what the fuck? What that? That is crazy. Okay. All right. Dang. <laughs> Night Slash game. popping off for Zora's win. You love to see it. Still so cheery after that really unfortunate technical difficulty. Right. But um, Zora taking it 3 2, and he's got to play me now. This is a rematch because I beat him 3 1 earlier. Cool, cool. All right. Yeah, that was really that was really cool to see that last game, especially because um, there it was just the way the or it wasn't how the second stock was taken, but he got like a really interesting edge guard where he threatened Bear on Pillar, and I think Night Slash got scared. He didn't want to get rooted or whatever, so he like jumped off mm -hmm. or something. He threatened him off Pillar, and then Zora double jumped back threw out Bear to break Pillar and then recovered and then it was like he almost had something crazy but Night Slash barely landed but it was just yeah it was um that was as Mr. Esports says a barn burn oh yeah definitely and speaking of uh, burning barns I'm gonna go I'm gonna go play Rivals it had nothing to do with that to be honest but alright bye Matt I'm focusing this camera. All right. Hello, stream. Getting the solo chombo commentary. For now. Unless we got Kev Boy. Kevin. Howdy, gamers. How's it going? It is going. Oh, Dinos already updated the stream thing. Yeah, let's um, let's change this here. Oh yeah. Twitch. There we go. What is going on here? There we go. We are Plastic Thanos. Yeah. Collectively. So yeah, that was a crazy last set. If you were an outsider, you would never know that it was like tournament. Because like I was sitting in the back of this venue, it's pretty big, and I could hear Zora laughing. Like through the wave of ultimate and an Aethan too. Like he, he will lose his stock and immediately pop off. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's what he As did. He just, yeah. He even he even told Zora after the fact. He was like, if anyone from far away was watching, they would have thought I won that set because he was like, <laughs> like with a yeah. happy stride walking off. Freaking love Night Slash. He was that was actually pretty cool of him to. Be like so patient throughout that whole situation too. Yeah, um, very unfortunate. All right, but where's Gates? There is. Oh, I must. It's been doing that. Like, uh, oh, this is fine. It like auto focuses randomly. Okay, that works. That does work. So at this point, I'm pretty sure Dinos does this on purpose. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he actually went to the bathroom. That's the meme. He sure as hell did. He, he, he like, had to though. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't eaten anything today. And like everything that would have been convenient to get food from closed at three. Which was when I was like, <laughs> I was walking out of here and I'm like, I know they're gonna say, oh, top eight starts at four. Yeah, it did. 
I am I don't know what time it is, I'm still painful. I get ya. You <laughs> said uh, places were closing at three? Yeah, like the Chick-fil-A that's what? on um second and Monroe or something, it was closed at three. Why? The Starbucks was closed for like maintenance purposes. <clears throat> like just everything was um just wasn't open. What the hell? Like Chipotle is open, but it's also fairly far of a walk. <coughs> Wouldn't have been able to to do it if um if top eight were starting that soon. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't hear that. I didn't hear it either. <laughs> is this the right <laughs> scene? For showing uh no? Okay. For what, just the game? Yeah. Uh, just press the 5 2020, I think. That's what I was thinking. Oh, okay. okay. That's really, yeah. That's Finally, weird to me. in what? Um, just a lot of places being closed around this. In like, downtown? Uh, Dude, Oakland was like that at G7. It was awful. Like I just wanted a Starbucks, and the only thing, <laughs> only things that were open was like a Popeyes. 